This is an ABC 10 News update. And good evening. I am Steve Atkinson of the ABC 10 News studio. Thousands of local students missed school today as part of a protest against those vaccine mandates. Governor Gavin Newsom's plan calls for all students to be vaccinated against COVID-19 once the shots are given full FDA approval. The protests could have serious financial implications. According to data from the California Department of Education, some local school districts could lose more than $12,000 per student a year if they leave for good. Parents who protested say what happened Monday is a precursor of what is to happen if the mandate goes through. sdg and &E has some ambitious plans to reduce its emissions, and today the company shared its goals. The company plans to reduce its vehicle fleet to zero emissions by 2035. That's five years ahead of schedule. It also plans to have company buildings at zero net energy, which includes renewable energy sources by 2030. And finally, sdg and &E plans to have virtual cloud-based power plants up and running by next year, three years ahead of schedule. And tonight, the North County Transit District is proposing a plan to keep people off the tracks in Del Mar. The NTCD initially proposed installing a six foot chain link fence along the coastline to keep people out. But after backlash, a new proposal will be introduced to the City Council tonight, which includes lowered fences in some other areas while a wire in just others. The Del Mar mayor is against the plan and is pushing for legal crossings to be installed to allow people to cross the tracks to reach the trails and pathways down to the beaches. All right, kind of a felt like a fall day today. What's in store for the next couple of days? Here's our meteorologist, Angelica Campos. Hi, Steve. We'll see a gradually improvement, but it's going to stay relatively cool this week. Temperatures will average around 67 at the coast tomorrow. 70s inland, mountains still in the 50s, and our deserts will average around 81 degrees. I'll show you coming up our next chance for showers and what's ahead for the next couple of days.